Hi everybody, so these are the things that I'm looking for in a ukulele today. The sound, the look, the size, the specialty, and the price. The first thing is the sound. Mm -hmm. So how, um, do you think you can help me find something that sounds good? Oh, of course. What are your customers looking for? Like what kind of sound? Try out a bunch of ukes, find out what kind of sound you're looking for. Okay. Because, um, you know, ukuleles are made of different types of woods. Um, those woods produce different types of tones. The second thing that I'm looking for is the look of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I don't really like that pear-shaped ukulele. You like the standard shape? The standard shape. Mm -hmm. So what uh, would you suggest as far as um, the wood type or mm -hmm. the, the look of it? Wood has different types of grades. Yeah. Um, you want something that has like a little bit of a higher grade. Usually, you know, higher grade woods would be a little bit more expensive, but okay. um, they look really nice. What something with the, a gloss finish too. So what is the high grade ukulele, you'd say, koa? Koa, yeah. Um, each wood, like, like I said, each wood has, um, you know, different grades to it. So um, if we can look at some of these ukes here, so um, this, you wouldn't typically see on the wall. Uh -huh. um, this is a, one of the high-end instruments. This is made by Kanilea, mm -hmm. you know, Hawaiian-made instrument from, you know, hand-made in Kaneohe. Um, what wood is this? This is koa wood. Okay. This is a high grade of koa wood, really curly. Um, if you look in the light, you can see all the grain patterns, all the weight, like you see that wavy. Yeah. The, like, the more, like, in, in the wood grain, the more of these waves you see, that's, that usually determines uh, the, the grain or the grade of the wood. Okay. Um, the lines, the coloring, um, if you look at this here, this mm -hmm. is the sap wood. Okay. Um, nothing um, really different, but it has like really nice contrast between, you know, the regular look of the coal wood, which is brown or mm -hmm. um, you can see there's orange or reddish tones that really come out of here. Um, so That's nice. you can tell like right behind um, on the back here, yeah. the uh, sap wood that runs right through um, this piece. They book matched it really nice. Book matching is when, this is actually two pieces. Um, they get two pieces and they, they match them together to look like, it's actually symmetrical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, to make it look like it's one piece. Okay. These are actually two pieces. So um, anyways, they did a really good, they always do a good job yeah. uh, book matching. The third thing that I'm looking for is actually the size of the ukulele. Mm -hmm. Starting from the smallest size, which is also known as the uh, soprano. Okay. Um, some people like to call it the standard size because it, um, that was the only size available. You That's know, the like first, the elementary first school yeah, exactly. size. We have a concert size right there. This is the size above a soprano. This is a tenor size. This is the biggest of the three. There's three sizes. Okay. Yeah. The fourth thing that I'm actually looking for is a specialty ukulele with something called a pickup in it. Mm -hmm. Because um, when I do gigs or anything like that, my regular ukulele, I kind of have to put the microphone right here. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't really the, like this, that. So having I the pickup to plug into a PA, that's, yeah. that's a really good option. That's what I want. And so uh, do yeah. I have to buy that or can you, you can have one that's pre-installed. We have models. There are models that are made that have pickups already installed. Okay. Or you can get an aftermarket pickup okay. installed. So the fifth thing that I'm actually looking for is the price of the ukulele. You know, we have ukuleles that range from $50 to like $5,000. What I'd suggest doing is coming in, looking for an ukulele, no, no matter what the price range is, you don't have to buy it that day either. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to come in, I'm just going to buy it that day. And then, you know, you got to find an ukulele that fits you because if you don't have an ukulele that fits you, you're not gonna wanna play it every day. Yeah. You're not gonna get any better. Mm -hmm. So you find an ukulele that sounds good, you know, sound, playability, the type of wood looks, yeah. that's all important. Um, price range shouldn't even matter at all. Okay. If the ukulele is $2,000, then, you know, and it, it feels right, sounds good to you, then that's your ukulele. Okay.